What's up guys? It's Kara Corey here from Kara Corey Fit Life and I am here with the brand new flavor that Mark came out with pumpkin pie and I could not wait to do a recipe using this protein. So today I am going to make for you the easiest, most macro friendly protein pumpkin pie ever. And we're going to do it crustless because I want to keep it very macro friendly. So this is going to be fairly low in, in um, fat and carbs, which is perfect because I'm still in prep for my next bikini competition. So I think you guys are going to like these macros. Um, first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven at 350 degrees, which I've already done. You're going to want to have some type of pie plate or dish. And I'm just going to spray it with some Pam spray. And set that aside for now and drop some stuff. First thing we're going to do is just mix everything in a bowl and dump it in there. You guys know I like my recipes quick and easy, so that's how we're going to do it today. I'm going to start with one and a half scoops of my pumpkin pie protein. If you guys haven't purchased this yet, I would do so now before he runs out of it. Um, this is going to be a staple of mine coming into fall. So one and a half scoops of that. I love the macros on this protein. You guys can see a full review on my channel. Um, next thing we're gonna add is one full can of pure pumpkin. I always have pumpkin in my cupboards. I hope you guys do too. It can be used so frequently in baking and it's high in fiber um, and very good for you. So we're gonna dump a whole 15 ounce can into the bowl here. I always like to caution, make sure people are getting the pure pumpkin and not the pumpkin pie filling. Those are two different things. You just want the, the good stuff. So one full can of that. I already have measured out here 12 ounces of, I'm using the cashew milk, it's the unsweetened stuff. You guys can use whatever milk you like to use, but use 12 ounces of it. Then I'm gonna use the same measuring cup here three-fourths a cup of liquid egg whites. A little bit more. Okay, dump that in there. And then I'm gonna add some cinnamon. We're gonna add one teaspoon of cinnamon. Then I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. If you guys for some reason don't have vanilla, don't have cinnamon on hand, you should be okay if you're using the pumpkin pie protein because it does already have those flavors within it. But this is just gonna kind of help enhance it and bring that out. And then next I'm gonna add some Splenda. For your sweetener of choice, you could do stevia, whatever you like. And I'm gonna add a half a cup of Splenda, but you guys can add it slowly if you want and kind of stir it around, try it out, and adjust the sweetness. You can always start with a little less and kind of add more as needed. Wire whisk. We're gonna go ahead and whisk this baby up. So I want it a little bit sweeter, so I'm adding just a little bit more Splenda. And I'm gonna add another half scoop of the pumpkin pie protein to make it a total of two full scoops. Cause I think that'll help sweeten it up as well. So I'm just gonna whisk that up. And my oven is all preheated. The one thing with this recipe, although it's quick to throw together, you do need to allow enough time for it to bake. So this recipe actually you need to throw in your oven for about 50 to 55 minutes. So just make sure you're going to have enough time to do so. Okay, so I've got my crustless pumpkin pie all ready to go. I'm going to throw that in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right guys, so here is our final product on the protein pumpkin pie. I baked it in the oven for 50 minutes and just insert a toothpick in the middle to make sure it comes out dry so that you know it's fully cooked. However, just remember with pumpkin pie, um, it does stay a little soft just because we used a full can of pumpkin. Um, you're gonna cut this into eight slices and nutritionals are awesome. One slice is 58 calories, 1.2 grams of fat, 4.9 carbs, 6.9 grams of protein. So 
Very macro friendly, gives you a delicious piece of pumpkin pie. You can add a little fat free Cool Whip to it or whipped cream, whatever you like and enjoy. So you're gonna wanna let this cool fully. Um, it'll probably taste even better if you leave it in the fridge overnight before serving. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Don't forget to get your pumpkin pie. MTS way at tigerfitness.com. Link in the description. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you guys make this. Please give it a like, share it with others.